And now it's time to get into our first big story of the week. And the wheel of uh, randomness says that the first story is going to be DJI leaks. Oh, DJI DJI leaks leaks. plenty. It's been so long since I leaked a DJI. (laughs) (laughs) We need like like an an adult diapers commercial. Do you have a problem with DJI leaks? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, But we do have some stuff. News. Extra absorbent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. Um, uh, on the 30th of July, I don't know if I kicked off the DJI goggles, but it sure seems like I did because I shared a picture that I got um, and some data that I got on the 30th and the day after that. Um, basically, um, yeah, here I basically tell you. So, this is all stuff I saw on paperwork. This is not conjecture. This is real information that came from a DJI released piece of information uh, that I know is legitimate. Uh, the date is the issue, right? So maybe things changed since we saw this, but I can guarantee you all this was correct at one point. Um, so basically, the V2 goggles work and are listed to work with OcuSync 3 air units. Uh, they work at 810p, basically, with the OcuSync 3 air units and mm-hmm. 1080p otherwise. 120 uh, FPS uh, for the V2s, 100 FPS because they're OLED goggles for the goggles mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. 51 degree FOV, a little smaller than the old goggles. H265 is uh, at least supported by the goggles. We're not sure if that's over the air, um, but we're assuming that's over the air. Um, and then, yeah, so we've got some pictures of all this stuff if we scroll down here. But basically, um, yeah, the other information I got was we don't have real canvas mode again. It sounds like we're going to have maybe more elements, but the same OSD solution we had before. Um, an Action 3 is also coming out. DJ Action 3 is also coming out in November. A lot of mm-hmm. Hasselblad tech in it uh, with a 10-bit color, and it'll be back in the Osmo Action GoPro form factor to compete with GoPro. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the last thing we heard was the two bundles that we'll see here if we scroll down. Um, and that's basically, uh, there's one bundle with the V2, with the, uh, V2 goggles, and there's one bundle with the goggles, too, mm-hmm. uh, interestingly enough. So. so that was one piece of uh, news that came out from these uh, leaks that was very interesting to me, that the new air unit is going to work with both the current goggles and the new goggles. With, yeah, Which with the V2 exciting. goggles and the new goggles. As far as I know, the yeah. V1s will probably not work. Uh, we oh, don't have that so? confirmation. I don't have confirmation of that, but there's been no... That was not on the documents. All the documents oh. just talked about the V2 goggle I, and the goggles too, not the I V1. Just, I expect I, that it works I, in DJI FPV drone mode, and that's why. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, that's plausible. That makes sense. So my guess is it, for the same reason that it doesn't... We didn't get an update for the DJI FPV drone on V1, we won't get the update for these new areas. So that's my guess. I don't know that for sure, but it that's was definitely pl- not sense. on the paperwork. But the V2 goggles were on the paperwork specifying the 810p. So. Right. So it's exciting for people who have the V2 goggles. And by the way, it's a little confusing because the current goggles that we've got are the DJI FPV goggle V2, and then the yes. new goggles are... The goggles too. However, the, internally they were called the FPV Vision, which I don't know why they didn't call them something different. But they are called the goggles too. Well, the name don't forget them, that apparently. there's the old DJI goggle and the oh, goggles God. RE, which no don't yes. exist anymore. Then there's yes. the DJI FPV goggle V1 and V2, and now the goggles too. Um, yeah. But um, it is exciting that people with the goggles too will, if these leaks are accurate, have the ability to try this new air unit if they want yes. to, and have it be compatible. Um, do we know if the new goggles are backwards compatible with existing Vistas and air units? There are a couple of rumors out there that they are, but none of my contacts have told me anything verifiable uh, that that is correct. So I yeah. hope that's true, but I have not seen any evidence of that yet. Yeah, okay. We haven't seen, whereas we have seen evidence of the uh, alternative. So yes. uh, in yeah. this case, the closer we get to the release, whenever that might be, the uh, yeah. the, well, the lack of evidence starts to look like evidence for the yeah. opposite. So the other story we have um, is from Drone XL. It's just a it's just a sort of a spec release. Some of the specs are wrong. I know that from looking at the paperwork. Um, like they say, eight ten p on the goggles too, but that doesn't make sense. Obviously, goggles two are ten eighty. But if some of these are to be believed, right? Um, then they have what they think are early prices. Um, you know, basically they say the bundle with the goggles two and the motion controller will be thirteen eighty eight. Mm-hmm. Um, as their pricing. Um, so yeah, they have some of this information here. Um, what was the one thing I was going to say? They also the goggles mentioned. themselves are uh, six fifty. The new yeah, goggles. they're saying six fifty. Yeah, and I think for FPV pilots, I mean, I don't think FPV pilots are going to necessarily be jumping out of the their seats to buy the drone. Some people will buy it. It's it's probably going to be pretty amazing for what it is. 
Um, <clears throat> but uh, 650 for the goggles. Um, if the goggles are not backwards compatible with the existing Vistas and Air units, again, FPV pilots are probably not going to be jumping out of their seats to get them. Uh, yep. And then we have what's claimed for spec specs on both the drone and the uh, air unit here. And if mm -hmm. that's to be believed, we've got basically the same specs on the drone cam and the air unit cam, which is that one by 1.7 sensor, mm -hmm. a 155 degree FOV, um, that 2.8 aperture. Um, it seems to be fairly high quality. And they say on the Avada, the recording is 4K60 or 2.7K100, which would be pretty cool. Um, if so, that's also the case on the air unit, because it seems like right. there's similar camera hardware between. It's not the same camera, but it seems to be a similar camera internal. So. so, so one thing that is potentially exciting about this, if this pans out, is that the air unit may have 2.7K 100 FPS recording, which is going to convince a lot of people to skip. I mean, it depends on the image quality. It's going to convince a lot of people to yeah. skip the GoPro. Um, well, the yeah, a the lot rumor of people is it'll are... be basically be an action too. Like, so it's, the rumor is it'll have rock steady, right, and the horizon steady. So it'll basically be like you have an action too, but the camera is split from the unit, and then we'll have a battery. That's that what doesn't claiming, excite me that right? much because I just bought yeah. a, a couple of action twos, thinking I was going to make it my main a camera, and then I just couldn't deal with the w the image quality and the exposure algorithm, and I ended up buying a bunch of GoPro Hero eights, and now my action twos. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So. Eh. Mm -hmm. But I think there are a lot of people who are happy with it and will enjoy saving the weight. How is the weight, by the way? Uh, the Avada, the air unit is uh, listed at 35.7, which is about what I heard. I heard it was between the uh, the Vista and the air unit currently, basically. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. 35.7 isn't, isn't crazy, especially if you get that 2.7K or 4K recording. Exactly. Like, you know, that's a really big step up. The The price is a little bit concerning. If the price is believed to be correct, it's 250 to 300 which if you consider the internals of an Action 2, that kind of makes sense, you know, if they've yeah, got that the nice thing, of a camera on it, right? The thing about an Action camera is you spend $500 on it one time and you move it between your quads. The thing with the, an air unit like this is it's going to have to be one for every aircraft, and that adds up. So you're saving yeah. a fair amount of weight, you're spending a fair amount more money, and the big unknown is the image quality. Fr frankly, I'm not unhappy with the current DJI yes. camera. I would, uh, I, I'm, I, I was about to say, n not a lot of people run the air unit though to get that onboard recording. Most people today run a Vista and an action camera. Um, so the idea that people want an integrated onboard. It maybe doesn't pan out, although maybe if the image quality is much better, then maybe it would make a difference. Yeah. Um, some other features I've heard from the V2 goggles. Um, we've got basically two internal antennas and two external antennas, so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Um, mm -hmm. You know, basically only two user replaceable, it seems like, um, probably RPSMA, but we can't see in the ports. Um, we've got the, uh, what else we got in here? We've got... Uh, OLED, we talked about that. Uh, oh, there's supposed to be Wi-Fi video to the goggles. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but basically it, it talks about transmitting from a um, supporting device in the in the early information I saw. Mm. Um, is, this a, word. is this a leak uh, with the antennas removed? Yes. Okay, so the antennas, we, we do think the antennas are removable. Yes, it's not known if there's like a UFL you plug in inside with the faceplate off, or if it's mm -hmm. like a just a, like a screw in, you know, uh, okay. RPSMA like we're used to. Um, what about the uh, RC Link, Blunty, the controller? Does it work with the FPV controller V2, the gray one? Oh, we don't the, know the, about the, the air unit. We don't the know. Avada does. Yeah, the as far Avada as we know, does. The Avada we don't know does. about the air unit. Okay. We don't know about the air unit. Yeah, or they made an identical controller that the Avada works with, <laughs> and it's different. But as far as we know, it well, is the same DJI FPV controller. It seems like the Avada just has the air unit in it, although, and so the if that were true, we, yes, yeah, it would hardware. seem like the controller would also work with the air with the new air unit. Yeah, it may. Well, I don't mm. know that we're clear on that. But. Okay. Um, and of course, the motion controller. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else we have not shared here. Yeah. Um, what about... Uh, so, it, it feels like the release of the Avada and the goggles is coming soon. Do we know anything yeah. about, like, release oh, schedule? That's what I was going to say earlier. So, Drone XL yeah. is saying the date is the 23rd. That's mm -hmm. the date Drone XL has published, and that is a date similar to what I've heard. I can't mm -hmm. give you the exact date that I've heard, but that is very close to the date that I've heard. However, the thing is, we're supposed to get an announcement on that date 
And then supposedly we'll be able to purchase a lot of bundles that day or very quickly after that. But the air unit will be delayed until sometime in September. That's what I'm hearing. Hmm. Okay. So basically they'll so, announce the air unit, but if you're a, yeah, an FPV pilot, you won't be able to buy that air unit for, it looks like, you know, within a month or so of the Avada release. All right. I don't know why they wouldn't release them at the same time. Yeah. Kinda it seems dumb. like maybe they're not complete or something. All the leak information like is super is earlier for the air unit, right? So it's like harder to get information. There hasn't been as much filled out info on the spec sheets. Um, there's less leak pictures. Like I feel like the push for that is less hard. So it does make sense that it's releasing later. Okay. Uh, for sure. So, all right. Oh, and then the um, last thing uh, is just on that paperwork that I had. It, one of the features for the DJI goggles says support Twitter, YouTube, and other video software through DLNA streaming screen to goggles to watch. So, I don't know what that means. I guess there's some kind of streaming system you can send to the goggles, but maybe it makes you me can... think they're going to drop the AV in and they're only going to do this Wi Fi to the goggles or something. But... Why would you stream into the goggles? And I, that feels to me Can't like they're talking that. about streaming directly from the goggles. It says you. supports up to 4K display, so I think it means like the DLNA 4K enabled display can send to the goggles, but I don't know. Yeah, DLNA is a video delivery protocol. Yeah, so the goggles may be able to take a video feed in via like Wi-Fi. Sounds like over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something. Yeah, some kind well, that's, of that's interesting. Local there. I don't so. know. I'm I'm a little uncertain what that's for, but that is interesting. Uh, the other thing we got was latency numbers. So I'll just share latency numbers real quick. Uh, with the V2 goggles, they're still quoting the same latency numbers for low latency mode. So less than 28 is what they've always said. We know that less than 28 means 21 to whatever, right? We, we know how that, Yeah, 21 to 25. Uh, like it's just their, their given number. So their given number for low latency on the goggles too is less than 30. So that's 1080p, 100 frames at less than 30. That's what they're claiming. That's so it sounds impressive. like we're going to get around 23, I, 24 milliseconds, somewhere in that pocket. That's what I, I don't want to come off like a hater, but I feel like the DJI 1080p is going to deliver the kind of performance that currently Fat Shark Walksnail is still like, where they're like, hold on, guys, we, we're, tweak, we're yeah. tweaking the knobs. Well, Walksnail doesn't but have I, a 100 FPS mode in 1080 yet, do they? That is true. Only 720p DJI 100. is coming out of the gate with one. So, yeah. yeah. So, but if it only works with the new air unit and the new air unit yes. is $300 and bigger and heavier, yeah. it may not be. It's yeah, a very it may see sort of a, a market it's a, separation. It's a very sort of interesting time to be alive. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> All righty.